this being the world, people are betting on COVID. So one of the things that economists will tell you is that gamblers are probably one of the best indicators of reality, more so than what uh, politicians tell you. So here, first of all, um, let's look at who's going to be elected president, uh, election betting odds, and then I'll go to the COVID stuff. So pretty sure that Biden is going to be the nominee. He used to be like a 50% chance. Now he's at 89. So if you look at him in the last week, um, let's look at the chart actually. So Biden is a blue probability of being the nominee. And there was a point where Sanders and him were 50, 50 back at the, just a few weeks ago, um, end of Feb. And now, uh, it's pretty much the Biden show. So we don't need to talk about that much anymore, but then in terms of who's going to be the next president, it's pretty much a toss up between, uh, Good old Donald Trump and uh, Biden, each having about a 46% chance. So Pence is next. And then somehow people would bet on Hillary Clinton, which would be just freaking crazy. But at any rate, that's what they're betting. Um, now, let's look at COVID. How many cases will there be in the U.S.? by March 31st. Okay, so as a reminder, let me just check uh, the latest numbers in the US. Right now in the US, as of the moment, we already have 32,640 confirmed cases in America, as I'm recording this now. And there is a 97% chance that we will get to 100,000. So three times as many as today uh, in the next nine days, according to the gamblers. So the gamblers are not feeling nearly as uh, optimistic as uh, our elected leaders, or at least some of them. So just a reminder, I'm going to... Um, show you the actual data. Mm, where is it? This one. Okay, so US, you've got 400 dead and 32,640 confirmed, right? 32,640. And today is March 22nd. So the gamblers are asking themselves, well, if they're what do we think it'll be on March 31st, nine days from now? The gamblers think it will be over 100,000 in America. Yikes. Um, now, if you look at what the gamblers think of the world, worldwide cases, let's go to the actual data. Worldwide cases is... Uh, let's not go here. Let's refresh. Three hundred and twenty-nine thousand. Call it three hundred and thirty thousand today worldwide. And now let's look at what the gamblers are saying. The gamblers think that there will be at least 500,000 in the next nine days, uh, 500,000 to a million. In fact, the gamblers think there's a 25% chance that we will go from 300,000 to over a million confirmed. Um, so that's pretty nuts. This is the red line is a million plus one. Uh, very few people think that we're going to stay under 500,000 in the next nine days. So if I've learned anything, these gamblers from their predictions about um, Andrew Yang are probably pretty accurate. So that is the election betting odds. 
Um, and I would say to Abacus, the the gamblers are using math because uh, they will make money if they do. Uh, and if they if anyone's not using math gambling, then they will be taken advantage of. So hopefully, like these markets are fairly efficient, these gambling markets. Okay. Um, next, I'm going to do two more things. Take some audience questions and then wrap it up because um, it's getting late over here in Switzerland, and I got to go to work tomorrow. 